welcome to <laughs> welcome to Chris BI. My name is Chris Wagner, and today we're going to be going over the smallest feature that Power BI has released in a long time that has the largest impact. <laughs> I can't wait to show it to you. Wow. This is Derek Dataflows. If you want to learn more about data flows and managing content in Power BI, you gotta like and subscribe. This is the channel for you. Mm hmm. Okay. So, for in March of 2023, uh, Power BI released a new feature called uh, Apply All Slicers, Buttons, and Clear All Slicers. This seems like it's a little thing that you could do. Basically, you know, allow users to select, select their slicers and then hit apply them all at one time. Uh, this may seem like not a big deal, but this has huge ramifications in your Power BI space. Let's head over and let me show you how you can do this, okay? Now there's three ways you can add in this optimize button or the apply all slicers. Number one is the optimize ribbon. Right here, you can hit the apply all slicers button. This is useful when you're doing troubleshooting and performance you know, uh, tuning of your models and your Power BI reports. Maybe you don't need to have this on your report all the time, this button there, or you're just using it for like some temporary, uh, like testing things out. This helps out a ton, um, you know, so you can just add it in, do your tests and then be done with it. The next option is, uh, inside the insert button. So if I head over to the insert button and I go to buttons, I see that there's two brand new buttons here, apply all slicers and clear all slicers. Okay, really simple. What it does is allow me to have my slicers set. And if I've got my clear all slicers, I can click on it. Boom, all of my slicers are cleared at the exact same time. I can also then go in and I can select my items, hit apply all slicers and you see the slicers get applied, okay? Something to note here. When the slicers have been applied, your only option here, this doesn't light up until you change this, right? So if I go in and I attempt to change my year, when I, first, when I go in and change my year, I can change it, and now my, my apply all slicers light up again, okay? So I can select multiple things, hit apply all slicers, and they get lit up, okay? Now, the next opportunity and option you have for adding in slicers is through the button actions. So if I go in and I just create a blank button, I can go over to this action menu here. I'm gonna kind of zoom in so you can see it. Oh, my mouse just freaked out on me. Apply all slicers. You'll see that under, there we go. Under the, the action type, we have an apply all slicers and a clear all slicers button. So what that means is if you don't want it to just say apply all slicers, you could go into your style and you could uh, call it something else. Apply slicers button or go or anything along those lines or uh, can uh, additionally, like maybe you want this to be clear. Just clear your slicers. Whoopsies. Right, so really easy to do, uh, and maybe you even hot swap them back and forth so that you're only using one at a time. I don't know, whatever you wanna do there, okay? Now, as you can see, three ways to do this, very easy to do this. You say, Chris, how the heck is this the biggest feature that's been out in a long time? Uh, because it enables you to do something that everyone talks about and has been talking about for like years, but now you can do it in a real world situation. It's not gonna, it's going to really help your user's experience, okay? So here is your classic sales detail report. A couple high-level KPIs, oops, um, but so, some more detailed uh, uh, information below it. Now, in this case, uh, I've got all of my high-level KPIs up on the top, If and I've got details here. But I only have in the past, really to get performance out, I had to have all that data inside my model. Well, that meant I had to have all sorts of compromises in place because uh, if that data was like a petabyte of data or even just a terabyte of data, I couldn't load that into my model. It was too big. If I set up direct query, I could kind of get that to work, but every time a user would interact with one of the slicers, oh, it just, it stunk, right? Because it would like, you'd, you'd set a slicer, 
you'd have to wait for it to refresh. You'd set another one, you'd have to wait, wait, right? So it, it created this like constant set of queries that were running back against my database, uh, you know, making my users wait longer and longer. Um, but now I can set all of these things just inside of uh, my visuals. I can go ahead, I can set them. Now, something to note here, I love this, right? I can visually see on each one of my slicers which ones have been applied or not applied. So in this case, these have not yet been applied. So they're they're waiting. That's the clock little icon here. They're waiting for that slicer to be applied. So if I hit apply slicers, now the slicers get applied and I can have that query go back against my uh, backend database a singular time, allowing that for it to, to, to submit it, you know, pull that data back and pull it inside my Power BI uh, report. This creates a, a much more workable, viable solution for my end users while allowing me to not have to have all of the this data in my memory at one point in time. Oh, I just love it. So what do you think about this? This is a powerful new feature that allows us to really unlock direct query in a lot more situations in Power BI. Have you tried it out? What are your thoughts? What is your experience with this? I can't wait to hear from you. Leave a comment down below if, if you've tried it, if you have other questions about this. Love to walk you through how this can be used in, in different situations. Heck, probably the most common use case for this is gonna be if you just have a slow model, right? And you don't want your users having to wait and you haven't refactored your model. Number one, refactor your model. Number two, while you're refactoring, give them th these buttons so that they can uh, slice it up and hit it, all right? so. Uh, make sure, if this is your first time here, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you like this content, hit hit that like button down below. Uh, share this with everyone inside your company. Post that in, post this video inside your uh, Power BI user community. That would be fantastic. Would love to see us more and more people coming into the channel. I do have a personal goal to hit 100,000 subscribers. It's going to take me a while. I'm working on six right now, but I want to get to 100,000. Uh, and it's through your help that would that we'll, we'll get there together, all right? If you want to support the channel, share it. If you want to get yourself your own Power BI Data God t-shirt, these are super comfortable. I love the design. I love the black on black low key uh, pattern. Uh, do check it out there down below. Two different options for you. Um, absolutely love them. If you want to support in another way, head over to CuriousBI.com, buy me a coffee. Uh, my wife will send you a little packet of stickers with a little letter signed by, by yours truly. You have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.